time has come, ladies and gentlemen. We are on to part two, the second half of this giant bucket will be happening. Oh, there's so many will be happening today. Hey guys, it's Hannah and today I am doing part two of my extensive bookmark collection. I have kept them separated, meaning I have kept these just chilling there and these in the bucket so I could remember which ones I had already talked about and which ones I hadn't. Y'all know the drill. If you saw last week's video, then you know exactly what's gonna happen. If you didn't, I'll link it somewhere. You can go find it. It doesn't matter which one you watch first. It's just me talking about the plethora of bookmarks that I own. So let's get started. So the first one we have here is one I actually recently found in a book that I am currently reading, meaning it's been on my currently reading, but I haven't finished reading it. And that's another one from the library reading program. And this one says libraries rock and it's got all the music notes because libraries do rock. Next, this came from my spring break trip. This is a stop in Savannah, Georgia that we made. We actually stopped at two different bookstores, but the first one was the book lady and it was super, oh my gosh, I hadn't even seen the back of this. Look at that. Dude. Oh, that's cool. Okay, anyway, it was super cool, had tons and tons of books, and I found a really cool one. But yeah, Book Lady Bookstore, definitely recommend. Also go to Books on Bay, I don't think I have a bookmark from that with me. I know I got one, I think it might still be at my home, and not here. Just now, also go to Books on Bay. This one I actually literally just got a few days ago, it's from my friend Lindy, last semester, so not this spring, but like last fall. She did a study abroad in Italy and she got me this bookmark, which I absolutely adore. Also, I've had a lot of coffee today, so if I'm shaking a lot, that's why. This one I kind of referenced in the last video. This is one that I made myself. It's got a tassel. It's like folded paper and then again on cardstock. And I think this is my favorite of the ones that I made from that little kind of random crafty session um, because it's so cool looking and I really like it. So, handmade by me. Yes, this is a real book. I'm sorry. We have another Carrot Top paper shop. This time it's Nancy Drew and it says, oh again, above all, be the heroine of your life, not the victim. So that seems to be a common quote with her stuff and just plain on the back, got a little tassel and a very cute bookmark. Next, Big Chicken Barn Books and Antiques. This is a bookstore in Maine, and the downstairs is a whole bunch of different antique vendors, and the upstairs is books. On books, on books, on books. Super, 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 super cool. Check out all that information. Bookmark it as want to go on Google Maps, because it is super, super cool. Highly recommend it. This one is from Sandmeyer's Bookstore, which is in Chicago, and this was a very brief stop. That very, long road, that very long road trip I mentioned in the last video where we went from St. Louis to Ypsilanti, Michigan, back to St. Louis, back to Texas, we made a detour on the way up to Chicago to look at a college up there, and I made sure that we stopped very, very briefly, like literally I think 10 minutes, at a bookstore. And it was this one. It was cool. Next, we have another advice from, this is advice from Meow Wolf. Meow Wolf is a super cool modern art museum in Santa Fe, New Mexico. You need to go if you're ever in Santa Fe, New Mexico. And it says, always trust first, branch out into amazement. It's all about collaboration. There is always a place for ideas. Creativity is everything. Stay open to discovery, interact with the world, and go through portals of possibility. So the cool thing about Meow Wolf is it has different rooms. So it's set up like a house, like a normal townhouse that you'd see in like the the old town part of a city and you walk in and everything just feels a bit weird and then you see someone walk out of the fridge and you walk into the fridge and it takes you into this space world. I'll put a video if I can find one. Super, super cool. You, d you just need to go if you're ever in Santa Fe. Next, I'm gonna hide it, but it's a little photo strip. 
I was in 4-H, not gonna show y'all where, but it's a little photo strip of me and some of my friends. <laughs> and I use it as a bookmark sometimes. I also have this little guy, just be yourself. It's got a tassel, got stuff on the back. I don't know where I got this. Someone gave it to me, I'm assuming, but it's cute. I like it, it's got a cat. I love cats, look at that cat. He's just chilling. So this isn't a bookmark. I'm not quite sure why it's in my bucket, but I'll show it anyway because this is the Dutchman. This is so much fun. It's this really long store and they've got everything from candy to clothing to like antique kind of vendors and their chocolate covered almonds are delicious. I highly recommend those. And it's just a really nice stop on a road trip that we do frequently. I don't know where this little guy came from, but it's Despero from The Tale of Despero, which is a very fun book. I liked the book more than I liked the movie, um, but there is a movie for it, and I guess I have a bookmark. I have the book, so maybe it came in the book. Who knows? I have yet another Ed's Bookshop bookmark. This makes three. If you didn't see the last video, there's a reused and rare antique bookshop in downtown Bryan. Love it. Great place to browse. And apparently I have three of their bookmarks, although I don't know why. This next one is Yosemite National Park. I have not been here. My friend Lindy, I believe, is the one who went here and got me this bookmark, so thank you, Lindy. But yeah, no, I haven't been yet. I do want to go. Love to go at some point. But I use this one quite a bit, if you can tell from the frayed edge. I like this one a lot. Ooh, next we have West Cider Books in New York. This was the bookshop I think I visited the most when I was in New York and went to both of these locations and they were both fantastic. Although this one, if I remember correctly, th wait, this one. I think this one has the book ladder, so keep that in mind. But great bookstore, highly recommend. Speaking of New York, I have this bookmark that I actually did not get when I went to New York, but Lizby got for me when she went to New York years before I ever did. Whoop, I just dropped it. I was trying to show off the tassel and that didn't work. But Lizby got this for me when she went to New York way before I did. She also got me M&M's in maroon and white and an I Love New York t-shirt. I'm trying to remember everything. Yeah, I think it was just these three things. But cool, cool, cool. It moves. Oh forgot about this guy. This was another one that I made and painted. That's, that's kind of all you need to know about that. Uh, more photos from 4-H. More photos from 4-H. More photos from 4-H. More photos from 4-H. And more photos from 4-H. I had a whole bunch of munchkins when I was in 4-H. I'm speaking of 4-H. I also have a 4-H bookmark to make the best better. Very involved in 4-H, um, I had a bunch of little people that I called munchkins, and they were like the, the little little guys I mentored. And those are all the people in those pictures. Next, I have this, which I believe is actually my sister's. I feel like her Sunday school teacher gave it to her, because I don't remember being gifted this, and I, I honestly think it's hers. Oh, it's falling apart a little bit. But it's just this cute little, I don't know what you'd call this, where it's on with the ribbon, but it's a little cross. And it's very cute. Next, I have this one that was my great aunt's. And you can see it slips on the page like that. I never use this one because it's just kind of big and bulky and I don't like the metal ones, like to actually use the metal ones. But it's gorgeous, very pretty. And I really like it, and I'm glad I have it. This one I got when I was in volleyball, and it's just kind of a little, I said a prayer, I hope you do all these great things kind of quote. And then it was from my coach when I played volleyball. Only one year. This is one that was in our bookmark thing. At the library, we have a little bin of bookmarks that get left in books, and then if people need a bookmark, we can give them one of those. I needed a bookmark, and one of my coworkers was like, here, you should use this one. And she chose this one for me to use and it just stayed in my book and I haven't given it back at all. And now it's in my bucket. <laughs> so I love Sock Monkey, so it's very fitting. This, you had to pay a dollar to make this thing at the Homestead Heritage. This one was from 2016. We had also gone years before and I spent the whole time making this tiny little basket that I still have, but my siblings made multiple things, but I just made this one little basket. But it's near Waco. 
and you can go and see how they make soap. You can buy their handcrafted stuff. For the kids, they have a whole bunch of things. We went and did them when we were, you know, like 18 and stuff, so they're fun for non-kids too. And they had make a bookmark, and I made a bookmark and wasn't very impressed with it, but I have it now. It's cute. I think this one came in a book, but I have this. It says books let your mind travel and it's got an Indian restaurant. I feel like I haven't been here because this doesn't seem familiar, but it's cool. I like it. Oh, we also have this ticket in here that I sometimes use as a bookmark, but a Christmas Carol at the Opera House in Galveston incredible. They go other places, but like if you go to Dickens on the Strand in Galveston, you'll get this whole Charles Dickens experience. Highly recommend if you're ever in the area. It's like the first weekend in December is when they do it, but super, super cool. And if you can go see the Christmas Carol, go see the Christmas Carol. It's the best, absolute best production of it you will ever see. Another carrot top paper shop. This one's a little bit different. This is what's her name from You've Got Mail the movie, but it's her, the bookshop lady. And it says, read it. I know you'll love it, which I think, I'm, I'm pretty sure she says that in the movie. I'm assuming it's a quote from the movie. I have a, a little joke that I used as a bookmark at one time. Again, got this from somewhere in the library to use. And it says, hey, come on, Jed, ease up on the hammers. And he's holding hammers. And I would fold it up and I'd use it as a bookmark and then it just kind of stayed in my bookmark collection. So yeah. Is any bookmark collection complete without a half price books bookmark? They just kind of not focus is what they kind of do. They just kind of accumulate and if this is the only one that I have in this collection I will be very very surprised. Fun fact, Half Price Books is a Texas-born company. You're welcome, world. Oh, I have another one of these, which means that this is my sister's, because I know we both got it, and I guess I have hers as well as mine. So, got these from my aunt. Ooh, we have There Will Be Blood. Do you see it moving? Very cool. Heroes of Olympus, which is, was not as good as the original series or the King Chronicles, but still a very enjoyable, entertaining, if you will series and advertisement on the back. I don't know how I got this. When I got this, I don't remember, but I have it now. Aha, this one was funny. This showed up in a used book that I bought and it's like a little fax card about Obama. Got another West Siders book bookmark. I like to do things in twos or threes. Or I just, I like multiple things, apparently. When PBS was doing their Great American Read, we had these at the library, and I grabbed one, and it just lists, that's upside down. But it just lists all of the books. And, you know, I made a video about the Great American Read. I don't think I've made any progress on that. Just, just fun fact. Well, here's another one. I don't know what was happening with the paint there, but we'll just call it experimental and leave it at that. Another advice from, this is advice from the ocean. I think I got this in Maine, but it says, be sure of yourself, come out of your shell, take time to relax and coast, avoid peer pressure, see life's beauty, don't get tied down and make waves. And I'm pretty sure I got this at Acadia National Park in Maine, which if you ever have the chance to go, go. It's gorgeous. This one I know came in a thrift books order because I've never been to Harvard, but I don't remember what book it came in, but it's just this Harvard bookstore bookmark. And <laughs> I really like it. It's very cool looking. Yet another Dawn Treader bookshop if you're ever in Ann Arbor, Michigan. Definitely recommend going to check this place out. And then I have a little collection of magnetic bookmarks. These, I think my sister got me. I'm pretty sure my sister got me these. This one that's missing has been sitting in Alexander Hamilton by Ron Chernow since like 2015. So that's where that one is. The others are just chilling here until I ever decide to use them. I also have some more magnetic bookmarks. I think I got these from my roommate, Nikki. No, 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 no. I remember I got these at a secret Santa for my operations team. That's what it was. They say stuff. They say, hold that thought, fell asleep here. Sleep is good, books are better, and read between the lines. So I also have these magnetic bookmarks. Then 
I have this, which I got at the Texas Teen Book Festival that one time we went. I don't remember what all was said about it, but something about, I think, me supposedly to be her. It was like a you draw a card, you get a prophecy kind of thing. And this is who I drew, but I don't remember what the significance was. But yeah, I have that. I also have this magnetic bookmark that my friend's mom gave to me when I went and visited their house. And it's just, it's so super cute. And she actually had a whole bunch of them and she let my friend and I pick and we actually picked the same one without realizing it. So explains a lot about the two of us, but yeah. So this came in a book that I bought through this book seller on Amazon. I don't remember what the book was, but I mean, yeah, go check them out. I had no complaints. And I thought it was kind of fun that they had a little, a little bookmark. It's a nice touch. Okay, now these came from my roommate Mickey. They're Harry Potter. She loves, absolutely loves Harry Potter. And she got me these bookmarks, which are super cute. We have a book depository bookmark. Y'all know what those always look like, I'm assuming. So, you know, standard. Honestly, bookmarks like these and some of the other like random ones are the ones I use in books when I travel more because if I lose it, I'm okay with it. So that's why it has so many of them. I just don't lose them, so I keep them. But we also have this guy. I got an arc for the Dance of Thieves. I won it in some form or fashion. I don't remember why, but I read the arc of it. Fantastic series. Love Mary Pearson. And it came with this really cool bookmark. We also have Malvern Books. This is a bookstore in Austin. They have, I think it's all independent publishers. And so that's cool that they give them kind of a a place to sell their books that's like a physical place and it's a cool bookstore. This bad boy came from the Czech Heritage Museum and I feel like we just need to appreciate this little girl right here but this came from the Czech Heritage Museum and I'm pretty sure it came from the Czech Heritage Museum. I think it did but anyway checkerboard quilts. Oh I don't know why I keep dropping bookmarks today. It's all that coffee I had guys. Anyway very cute. Oh I don't know why I have two of them, but I have another one. I have Mina from the Six of Crows Crooked Kingdom World by Leigh Bardugo. This, I'm assuming, also came from the Texas Teen Book Festival. I don't know why I have a Nina and an Edge, but you know, I won't complain. I have another Six of Crows bookmark. This one says, when everyone knows you're a monster, you needn't waste time doing every monstrous thing. And no mourners, no funerals. Among them, it passed for good luck. Don't remember where I got this, guys. I don't remember where I got this, but Six of Crows. I love that duology. So this one came from a bookstore in Denver, Colorado called City Stacks. It was super cute. I got a really, really cool edition of Frankenstein there. And I believe it also had coffee, but at that point we had had so much coffee. We we're kind of doing a coffee tour of Denver that day. And I don't think I actually got coffee at this spot, but I'm assuming it's good. And the final set that we have is this that I got from my friend Lindy again. This was from when her family took a trip to Rome, I believe. Lindy, you can correct me if I'm wrong, but it has a bunch of cats and I haven't taken any of them out because I love how you can just flip through. And I don't want to mess that fact up. And so I never actually use these, but I love them dearly because it's just a whole bunch of cats just chilling around Rome and you got them different months and I love it. It's so, like, look at that guy. It's so cute. And literally cats and books combined, literally you just need to add coffee and it's the dynamic trio. Like, look at him. They're too cute. Look at that little guy. Just chilling. So this will probably forever be in a little book, but that's just, this is how I want it because they're so cute. So that's it for this video. Comment down below and let me know about your bookmark collection. Do you have a ton? Do you just have a few? I've already kind of asked this question in the last video, but like, did I just answer it again? Maybe, did you get some new ones? Did I, did I instigate your bookmark collection? Let me know if I did, because that'd be pretty cool. Not gonna lie. Also comment down below, let me know your favorite way to get bookmarks. If you do collect them, do you like to receive them as gifts? 
do you like to have them come from places? My favorite, Dusty just went by, my favorite is to go somewhere and then get a bookmark based on that place if it's possible. Or like get bookmarks from all the bookstores I go to, that kind of thing. I like bookmarks that remind me of when I got them. If I can remember, we know that I don't always remember, so, but ideally it sparks a memory of a trip or a time or whatever, and that's my favorite kind of bookmark. So that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see y'all again in another one soon.